Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront updates and some very exciting content because today I've got some exclusive new gameplay showing off the crates in Star Wars Battlefront 2. This was recorded from an extension of the EA Play build and as always a big thank you to EA for flying me out to the events and letting me record this gameplay. Also want to give you a quick disclaimer that the entire star card and crate system is very likely to change a lot for the full launch so keep that in mind when you see the gameplay. So what are crates and how do you get them. Well the crates is the main way for you to progress your gameplay in Star Wars Battlefront 2 and the main way you get crates is by buying them from credits and these credits you get from simply playing the game. After each round you will be awarded credits just like in the previous game and sometimes you can also get some extra credits from other crates that you open. And there are some other ways to get crates such as just logging in every day. As you can see right here I'm opening up a daily crate that I got simply by logging into the game and I think there will most likely be a lot of other ways to get the loot crates as well when the full game is launched. So what do the crates actually contain? Well in this version that we played it was mostly star cards but also crafting parts and sometimes credits. So let's start off with the star cards. You can get star cards of different rarities and the higher rarity of the loot crate the higher chance you have of getting better star cards which makes a lot of sense. But I also want to note that the ratings for how you get star cards in this build that I'm showing you right now is kind of cranked up so getting epic cards will not be as common as you see in this video. But as you can see when you open up the crate you can also click on the star card and read some more information and if you look on the right you can see how the effect of the star card differs depending depending on which rarity it is of. And I will have a separate video where I will show you some gameplay examples of how a common card compares to an epic card and so on. The star cards come in four main rarities. Common, uncommon, rare and epic. But there are also legendary star cards that are super rare. When I recorded this I got a lot of credits just to spend on star cards and it still took me a really long while, even with the boosted chance to get this one legendary card, but I'm glad I managed to get it and show it to you guys. So the legendary cards are something you will not even see on the standard list, because as you can see, when I look at the legendary card, it actually adds a bonus effect, which in this case is a 5% damage reduction, and that doesn't even show up on the normal cards until you have that legendary card. So I can imagine that in the full game, it's gonna be extremely exciting to get those legendary cards because you do know that they will be very rare. I mean, even the epic cards are rare, so imagine the feeling whenever you get a legendary card. So what are the crafting parts that you can get from this loot crate? Well, the crafting parts is another type of currency. However, the crafting parts can then be used to upgrade the star cards that you want. So you don't have to be lucky in order to get the specific star card you want. Let's say you really like Darth Maul or you really like the officer class and you want to upgrade a specific ability for that class. Well, then you can use your crafting parts to upgrade the star card you already have to the next rarity. But as you can see, upgrading from common to uncommon is fairly cheap, but when you get from rare to epic, it's actually quite expensive. So if you want to get an epic card without being lucky, you're gonna have to save up quite a lot of crafting parts. But something I want to note about the gameplay here, which is very important, is the fact that if you do get duplicates in these boxes, those will be converted to crafting parts. They didn't get converted in this particular build, but in the full game, they will be converted so you won't just feel like you threw away the entire box if it was full of duplicates because you can then use those crafting parts for the specific star card that you want. And this build obviously also contained a very small fraction of everything that will be in the full game which is why I had a bigger chance of getting duplicates here whereas in the full game there's gonna be so much stuff that it's probably gonna take a while before you start getting multiple duplicates of the cards that you already have. So that is a first look at the crates in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Personally, I thought even with these fairly early animations and unfinished UI, it was really satisfying to open them up, especially when I saw that yellow glow of the legendary card that I waited quite a while to get. And the fact that they're pushing out stuff like getting daily crates is something that's gonna make it even more exciting to log on to the game every day, just to see, oh, what am I getting today? Maybe I'm getting an epic card if I'm lucky, or I might just get some extra credits and crafting parts to use towards other stuff. So I'm pretty excited to see how the final version of this will look both in terms of animation and UI but also what more these boxes will contain because as I mentioned this was a very small fraction of everything that will be in the full game such as only having four heroes. 
But that is all for this video, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all things Star Wars Battlefront and Star Wars Gaming. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, may the Force be with you. Thank <laughs> you.